all right guys hello welcome back to my channel i am brianna for those of you who do not know obviously from my name not your ordinary brie but today my hair look crazy but today i will be doing a hair tutorial on my aunt i'm gonna do some knotless braids on her today um for the beach and so yeah that's what i'm doing but i got this hair she so she has gray hair and she dyes it and i tell her to just let it go gray like gray it's cute let it go gray so this time she let it go gray and decided she wanted to do some gray braids instead of because i think she's more worried about her roots which i'm not too worried about but hey it's her head so i got this color here I don't know how she'll like it. This is one of the better ones I've seen in the hair store. And it's Spectra and it's pre-stretched hair, which I always use pre-stretched hair. And then her hair is like a brownish color. This is in four. And this is a uh, Queen Bee's pre-stretched hair. So I'll be using this as well. I'll probably only use the gray like in some areas. Um, so yeah. And then I'm using shining gel and then comb and clips is all i'm using today so i'll be recording the process and what i do i'll probably just kind of record it and then do a voice over yes i'm watching um vampire diaries i am but stay tuned and see how i do this look on my aunt All right, so the first thing I am doing, what you see on the screen is me just separating the hair into small sections and just placing them on the stool over to the side so that that way while I'm braiding, I don't have to section it out as I'm braiding. I will already have the pieces set aside for which piece I'm doing. So that's what you see me doing at the moment and I will just continue doing it until I feel like that I have enough hair laid out or don't have to stop as many times as I would if I separated it each braid. So now what I'm going to start doing is by just parting my aunt's hair. So as you see, I'm just kind of combing my fingers through. But I start from the back. You can start from the back, the front, whichever one you'd like. But me personally, I like starting from the back. So I'm going to start from the back 
and just part out a section, making sure that the part is really straight and that, you know, it's not crooked or anything. And as you can see, my aunt moves a lot. So it took a while for me to part her hair correctly, but that's what I'm doing now. So I'm going to part it. All right, so once I got the part straight or how I want it to be, what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the shine jam and put that on one section of the hair. I won't put it on all of it, but I make sure that it's doused good and that the other pieces are not in the way. So once I put that on there, then I am going to start braiding the hair first. So make sure that you have the shine jam in there really good and um, that you can get a good grip on the hair. So you're just gonna start plaiting regularly and you plait it about three times. So you just, like you do a regular plait, you'll go one, two, three, and then you can either do it twice or once. I think I did it once and then I start adding the hair in. And when you add the hair in, you just add the hair in between your pointer finger and your thumb and then you continue braiding and you braid down about once or twice and then you add the second strand of hair in between that pointer finger and that thumb again and then you keep going down and i only add two strands of hair because because of the size of the braids is the reason i only add two strands of hair i don't want it to make it too thick by adding a third strand so i just keep it to two and then i just continue that braid on down and again I will show y'all how I do that um, with the second braid and then I'm just going to continue going and show you the end results.
All right, so I'm gonna show you the second braid again. So what I'm doing is, right now I am splitting a piece of hair that I've seen or was gonna put in her hair into two because I realized that it was too big a, of a piece, so I just split it into two. And you can adjust the size as you go or as you see fit. And I did realize that the first one may, be, may have been a little too big, so I wanted to go a size down. That's why I split it. So I put the shine and gem on her hair already, as you see, and I'm going to braid a regular plait twice. So once and then twice. And then I'm going to add the hair in between my pointer finger and my thumb finger and just braid regularly down. And I'm going to do that once or twice again. And then I'm going to add another piece. Um... As you see, I, it did kind of, it didn't look right. Sometimes it can get loose or as you braiding, you can see that it's sliding down with you. That means you may need to redo it and make sure that you get a tight grip on that hair and then continue braiding down and it should be good. So continue watching. Thank you. this is me towards the end of her head I'm on the last couple braids and so I'm just showing you what it looks like when I am done as you can see I added some of the gray hair in there like she wanted and it actually blended very very well so I do like that um so now what I'm going to do is boil some water and put the ends in some hot water now and I'm going to also make sure that all of them are braided pretty tight at the end before I dip it in water. I already have the water going and I just use an electric teapot to kind of put water in, warm it up or whatever, make it hot. And then I bring it in there and I dip the ends into the water and I will show you or you will see in this video how I dip the water. Make sure that you grab a towel as well so that you can pull down as you're dipping the hair in the water and make sure you do not burn yourself.
So y'all, I finished my aunt's hair. It took about five hours, four and a half, something like that. But I finished, um, it is like 11 something, 11.30, 11.15, something like that. And I am tired, but I finished. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow all my social media pages. Thank you guys and see you next time.